Hey guys, Brian, Mr. SF Studios. Any of you with 4th Gen F bodies know how stupid these running lights are. GM, in their infinite wisdom, put the socket upside down with a push-in bulb, right? So you've got gravity working against you to begin with. So every bump you go over loosens the bulb. And then on top of it all, you have all the heat from the bulb rising up into the socket to destroy it. So periodically you have to replace these sockets, like every five years they're just toast, they're crispy, they're crunchy. So I've been trying to come up with a better solution. And I tried this aftermarket one with a switchback thing and a clear lens and a resistor and all this crap. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It doesn't talk with the CAN bus and the body control module of the car. So I started looking at the stock housing and thinking, well now what can we do with our own LEDs? And I did have this reel of LED tape left over from the Base Star model. And I'm like, well, why can't I use the breakout from the cheap Chinese thing that doesn't work and hook up my own LEDs? And that's what I'm going to do. So these are the basic things you'll need to do the conversion to LED on your uh, fourth gen F body. You need a soldering iron, some solder. You need a roll of LED tape. You want to cut two strips about seven and a half inches long. You'll need some cutters, you need wire strippers, and you'll need a 3157 breakout, which is what I'm holding here. It's basically the bulb plug that's converted to wires so that you can solder the wires to your LED tape. So to join the two LED strips together, just cut little um, oh, eighth inch strips of sticker vinyl and go between the LEDs and the little IC chip just make little strips to fasten the strips together jump across, jump the across. The space is where the, the solder dots are you can go really big with the sticker and cover them up. So here's what your strip should look like after you've taped them together with the sticker. Now you can just take scissors and trim off the excess that's hanging off LED the LED tape, it's 12 volt it's very inexpensive, get a big reel of it. I was able to do the base star and a cabinet lighting and now my turn signals. Anyhow, if you look, they're marked negative and positive. So what I did is I flipped one strip over so that the negatives would be side by side. Then we can run that to the ground lead. One to the turn signal and one to the daytime See, running. that's perfect. That'll just bridge right over negative and negative. You don't want it any longer, it'll short it out. It'll hit the positive, so just negative to negative. And then these other ones go to the positives on the outside, the white. Here's what it looks like after you've tinned the dots with some solder. Okay, the soldering is complete. That's how it should look. The negative crossing the two negatives and the positive to the outsides on our breakout. Now we gotta plug this into our socket and test it and make sure it works before we bother gluing it into the See house. how heat damaged my socket is. Cause GM, I don't know why they would do it this way, have it upside down so all the heat rises up into the socket and destroys it. Just a stupid idea. Plus it's a push-in style bulb and you're having it fight gravity going over bumps and jiggling like this so over time the bulb itself will loosen. I, I, this is like planned obsolescence at its finest. Anyway, we're eliminating all this crap by doing this LED conversion. Because LEDs run cool. It'll never get hot again. It'll never melt this thing. For that matter, if it works well, you could just glue this into that socket and be done with it. Okay, guys. Plugged in. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Ooh, we have an LED running light. Look at that. Checking the turn signal. We got a turn signal? We do! Look at that! Fantastic. You want to clean as much as you can the inside of the housing just with a rag and your finger if you can reach in there or maybe a toothbrush, whatever. And to make sure it's nice and dry and clean. Then you peel your liner. Peel off this liner here. I mean, some people may say the E6000's overkill, but uh, I've never had good luck with this little cheap carpet tape they put on these LED strips. Sooner or later it weakens and then they fall off. You don't want that rummaging around inside your turn signal housing. Now you just have to finagle it in there. You, you feed it through and 
with your finger push it against the back inside of the lens or the reflector part of the housing. Yeah, that's what it should look like when you're done. It should be resting on the back of the reflector part on the lower edge because these lenses only the lower part shines through this upper parts just empty houses a heat shield for that hot bulb stupidity just say no to melty hot bulbs hanging upside down so there you go LED mod in less than an hour both both uh, turn signal housings no more melty bulb no more hot housing no more socket replacement every five years just LEDs the old one with a bulb this one's LED, but this is the incandescent. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I bet it looks cool at night. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Be well.